Hello everyone, welcome back to BPO TV Tutorials and today we came up with an interesting concept that is on throughput. As I got a feedbacks and comments from you to prepare a video on it, so let's start today's concept. Before moving to the video, I would request everyone to share, subscribe the channel, click on the bell icon and the subscribe option as well so that you will get all the information and notification whenever a video getting uploaded. Check out the playlist, you will find 170 plus videos with multiple topics like Six Sigma certification, trainers, operation team leader, quality analyst, KPOs like BPOs, KP, uh, uh, like uh, operation team leader, managers, training managers, MS Excel report, many more videos are there that will help you in cracking your interviews guys. So don't miss out to check the playlist. I will, adding a, I will be adding a link in the description as well. So let's move to the concept that is throughput in call center or maybe any of the project management how the throughput is useful let's see the definition first so basically the throughput means uh, let, let's consider one uh, a situation here uh, like we have certain volumes to be uh, wrapped up or certain volumes that to be processed or certain calls that to be processed and within a certain deadline how much we can deliver with that particular deadline is known as throughput. You can see the definition amount of product or service that a company can provide and deliver to the client within the specific period of time. This is known as throughput. It is also known as like company rate of production or the speed which something is processed. These are the basic understanding on the throughputs and uh, let, let's see one more example here like if, if suppose we are processing high volumes with good quality definitely the revenue will also get increased which means high production level will also get increased and our throughput will get also increased. This is mentioned in our in this the third line and also the competitor or the uh, or the market vendors who are uh, working with the same profile uh, there will be uh, less competition with those those people guys. So so mainly all the all the companies either maybe it's a software or project management they will focus more main on the throughput now next this is also known as flow rate the basic meaning is like whatever flow or whatever uh, things we are covering up for the entire day or for the entire month with a specific given time from the client so it's basically also known as throughput flow time now whenever we see a throughput that can be implemented there might be certain factor that will impact and we have to focus on those so that we can improve or increase the throughput time in any of the workflow or the process. First thing missing interaction between stakeholders which means there is a less communication between the client and the like uh, we can say vendor there is a there is a very very less interaction due to which uh, the things are not getting happening on time or else required support is not getting provided. Second weak links if we find any weak links in our process that to be removed we can say removing waste from the process removing something which is not value added to the uh, process we can we have to remove those so such kind of weak links need to be removed otherwise this will be a prime factor in uh, a prime factor in reducing throughput. Third point is inefficiency, inefficiency and the capacity both are related to each other here inefficiency inefficiency will make up will may come in many ways like uh, we have uh, headcount issues we might have some uh, uh, system issues we do not have uh, certain laptops to cover it up uh, there might be a seat utilization issues many things may comes uh, so this uh, the the inefficiency and the, the capacity will relate to each other next bottleneck issue let's go with one example for the bottleneck considering uh, there is in there is a traffic wherein from all the four sides the signals are not working properly which means all the cars or the vehicles will run each other to their directions which means there will be a situation the traffic will get higher and no one can move on a there uh, on a right time from there and everyone will get stuck with the another person who is coming in front of him so this is known as bottleneck issues that to be solved in the workflow as well. We have to identify all those things. We have to check the mistake proofing if anything is required. Now proper training to the employees much needed. Otherwise the throughput will get a throughput but the quality will remain less. Uh, we have to avoid the escalations. We have to prepare our plan prior so that uh, the throughput can be given on time and we can increase our business as well. The last one is uh, 
like uh, missing the automation which means sometimes people may follow hard work not follow the smart work sometimes they will mainly focus on manual things rather than doing automation this may also impact the throughput let's go with the formula for the throughput it's very easy guys throughput formula is i divided by f which means i means inventory which means how much volumes we have and f which means what is the flow rate or else what is the deadline what we have received we will understand this formula with the help of example in the upcoming slide uh, so let's consider we have a calling process wherein uh, we got a deadline to close 1000 calls in upcoming 10 days how what is the throughput what is the throughput uh, here or else what will be the throughput time here which means inventory which means we have 1000 calls okay divided by flow rate what the deadline we have received that is uh, 10 days which means 100 calls per day which is throughput will be 100 calls per day we have to manage now to manage this we have to make sure our factors which are impacting this should be cleared out let's consider like uh, the capacity or cud utilization we have to keep everything in mind so that we can improve our throughput now we can also see a benefit on the throughputs like uh, we can increase our process time here uh, like we can also find a quality improvement and we can finish a goal on time uh, we can also see like uh, if there is any uh, transactions happen wherein uh, things are getting delayed will be covered on time because of throughput and uh, queue time which means wait time everything will get reduced so these are some benefits we can get if throughput time is getting increased on time without impacting any of the factors so this is all about the throughput if you give all those answers in your interview whenever you get a question on throughput i believe uh, the interviewer will get much happier and uh, uh, i guess you can clear our interview easily so this is all about throughput if you still want more help please share your feedbacks in comment section check out our playlist check out our instagram linkedin facebook page wherein you will be getting information on all the upcoming vacancies and also uh, informative videos thanks a lot have a great day